honor, respect, and commitment that your last 50 years of marriage has exemplified be an example to all of us of what marriage is supposed to be. And to the next 50 years. Amen. All right. Amen. Elizabeth trailer. You can stand right where you are. First of all, I want to give honor, thanks. Uh, Mom, I'm sorry to cut you off. I can, we can't hear you. You're going to have to try to make it up, I guess. First of all, I can talk live. I just trying to be nice. First of all, I'd like to give honor, thanks, praise, and all of the glory to God for my being here on this special occasion. On these 50 years, my twin sister, Lillian Stafford and Lewis. First of all, I love her so much because we are twins and we have been together. We came along together all of our lives. And when we was in grade school, I used to be larger than she was. I was larger. I was tall, but the late years, she has caught up with me, but she was tiny. She was a little one, and now I always felt that I had to take care of her. Number one, she was my twin sister, and I felt like she, you know, was a part of me, and uh, number two, I was larger. And uh, I was quiet, but she was just as frisky and fiery, and she was just like a little fight. She would always get something started because she knew that I was going to look where the crowd was, and all I was going to do is run into them and knock them down. And then you can guess what the rest was. So she would always start something. But I was always right there for her. But then I got married before she did. And later, I remember though when she and Louis started dating. <laughs> and uh, Louis was always, you know, quiet and sweet. And uh, they dated for maybe a year or more. And then they, they, they got married in Frost Cove, Florida. And you know, when she went away, I missed her so much because we'd always been together. We'd always lived together. And uh, you know, we went to school together. And we just did everything together. We played together. We just did everything together. We've always been together. And uh, I missed her a whole lot when she left after she got married. And then the later years, they moved back and uh, they decided to change. So they came here to Columbus, Ohio to live. And I believe that was in uh, 45. So they've been here ever since. But uh, Lewis, after my husband died, you know, he really, I, I, I'm getting, uh, this, is, this is really true. He has always been 
so sweet to me. And after my husband died in 56, he was just really, he's always been like a brother. But he was really like a brother then. He was like a big brother. And he was a brother to me and a father to my children. And Louis, for that, I want to thank you. I want you to know that I appreciate you. <laughs> Everything. And uh, Lola, that was my daughter that was, you know, that he helped so much. And he raised her after she came in his household. She had to do just like his children, even though she was older. But she was in his house. And I'm so thankful that, uh, you know, for the teaching that I got when I was coming up. And the teaching that I got, I passed it on to my children. Because when I came up, you had to respect the older people. Amen. And uh, Louis, I just want to thank you. And I want to thank my sister Lillian. And I'm so happy for you all. And I love both of you. And, and I just love you so much. I just love you so much. I just love you so much. And, you know, I just thank God for being here.
some of us ladies know how men are. If they get on the wrong route, they just have to go all the way into the river, the ocean, or whatever. <laughs> they refuse to stop. Mother and Aunt Lillian begged Uncle Lewis, stop, we're going the wrong way. We'll never get home going this way. Well, they ended up in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go through Alabama coming from Georgia to Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> so Uncle Lewis, being the macho man that he is, had to have wanted to go to Alabama. That's the only conclusion we can draw. So even though none of the relatives had moved to Alabama, they took a tour and went that route. But I'm thankful for what they have meant to me. Aunt Lillian, even before she became a nurse, every time we would get sick or have a cold or anything wrong with us, she would come out. And I have passed on your little tip about the witch hazel that you told me to get to help heal those wounds. And she's been practicing medicine all of these years. And we just love you, we thank you, and we want God to continue to bless you, so we shall always pray for you. And if you just continue to be sweet, I'm sure you're going to live long and fruitful as you have already been. And we are glad to be included this evening. God bless. Yep, boys, we did it again. <laughs> I'm saying that because when I think of Lewis and Lee, and these are like my mothers and fathers, even though I'm the baby sister. And I can remember the black and white roadmaster, and I can remember Gwinnett and the pear tree, <laughs> and I can remember the times that I've been stuck at the foot of Riverside Methodist Hospital because I always wanted to be a nurse like my sister-in-law, Leah. So all these things that everybody has said today, they've just kind of opened up a little book for me of remembering all about my mother and father. And there they sit. Because when my mother and father weren't there, these two were. And I grew up thinking that if anybody I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like them. And yes, Dennis, and I don't see you around here. But I know how you had to get up. And Lewis was like my mentor because I too had to get up and I had to make a way. My mother died when I was 17. But when she died, she left me all of these other mothers and fathers. And Lewis and Sammy, you sit at my head. I love you all. I have to tell you, it wasn't too easy getting here, but God helped me. He brought me here. We had an accident and I saw all my life before me. But he kind of grabbed me back over and said, you've got somewhere to go. And it's not with me yet. You've got to come and see your sister-in-law and your brother have their 50th anniversary. So, Sarah Gate, Mom and Dad, I love you very, very much. I don't think anybody can love you more than me. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of those years I know you, and I know it was on Chatham and Long Street when I can remember the first. And I was three years old, so I really can remember a whole lot. I remember the living room. I remember the fireplace. I remember the little black porch where Leon used to sit and pull my nappy braids <laughs> because she's the only one who can make me look real cute. <laughs> okay, and I'm. I guess I've roasted you enough, <laughs> but you still look so cute, and I still love you. Thank you. Hold it up. Hold your mic up.